Hello everyone, you are most welcome again on my channel and we are doing history of English literature. I was uh, going to complete this series in 60 days but now we are going to complete this series in 100 days. Because I want to go more depth in depth in the in this story. So we are going to complete today Edmund Spencer and this is sub part of is of Shakespeare and this is third part Edmund Spencer if you are uh, studying Edmund Spencer you can make keywords these uh, phrases or you can say words aap sabhi ko inko keywords ko yaad rakhna hai jaise poets poet poets poet maker true child of renesa and dryden's master so you can make your notes after watching this video please don't forget to like least one like and uh, share because it helps us to grow our channel and it motivates me to go in depth and uh, bringing some facts out so let's start today's video his first work was this shepherd calendar which got published in 1579 but his magnum opus is fairy queen i have already made uh, two separate videos on fairy queen so you can check out my channel what is important in Shepherd calendar, what we should know about Shepherd calendar, that it is based on Theocrites and Virgil's Bucolica. This is the work and such questions are asked in uh, every level of exam, TGT, PGT or UGC. Net. Series of Ecologues and uh, this is in Pastoral Ecologues. This work is written in pastoral form. Raffles unfortunate love for Rosalind. Rosalind. Aapko ye naam yaad rakhna. And now let's talk about his autobiographical point here. You can see which got published in 1595. Here, the name of autobiographical poem, which is asked in even UGC net exam, Collins Clouds. It's clouds. Come home again. Here. One name, Collins Cloud. Collins Cloud is Spencer. And because this is also pastoral elegy or pastoral poem, another shepherd is Sir Walter Raleigh. Now, who is Sir Walter Raleigh? He is friend of Spencer. He's his best friend. So, he is writing on death of Sir Walter Raleigh. Now, next work is Amorati. Amorati got published in 1595 with same autobiographical poem as you can see here. It has 88 Petrarchan sonnets and it is written for Elizabeth Boyle. Now who is Elizabeth Boyle? Elizabeth Boyle was uh, his wife. And another, I can uh, tell you some more facts about this. Later I will tell you. The Rhyme skip of this work is A B A B B C B C C D C D. So you can see here he has uh, three quatrains. And what is difference? Uh, it is different than Shakespeare because Shakespeare uses E E. He uses a couplet. So you can uh, remember this thing. Shakespeare uses couplet, but he is using three quatrains for sonnet. We know sonnet has 14 lines. Elizabeth Boyle, he got married to her in 1594. Here one word which is related to Spencer and that is maidenliness. Maidenliness was used by Coleridge for this work. Emirati. These sonnets and this this word maidenliness was used because of its writing style, its sweetness or rapture of love. So that's why Coleridge was, uh, you know, uh, influenced by the writing style or composing style and rhyming scheme. That's why, because lots of poets like Keats, Dunn, John Dunn and Coleridge, they were influenced by Edmund Spencer. He is called a poet maker because they, they got influenced. And later, if you find uh, here, what was uh, 
you know impact on kids a thing of beauty is joy forever is the line which has influence of spencer so these are the now <clears throat> now let's come to this uh we can say this phrase true child of renesa why we are calling him true child of renesa because spencer is coming after renesa and he is using the you know qualities of renesa now i will not go in depth for qualities of renesa if you are watching this video first time uh, this is day 30 you should check out my previous videos about renesa you will get some qualities of renesa and then you will be able to analyze this edmund spencer edmund spencer ki agar aap dekhenge ki unke work mein jo cheeze hain wo aapko renesa ki qualities dikhenge that's why he is child of renesa okay now let's come to his two important points and i'm not going in detail with these points because already i, I have made separate videos for epithelium and uh, prothelium so you should check out those videos which got published in uh, you know uh, 1595 and 1596 you need not to remember this if you know when he was born okay so he was born on 1552 and 1599 he died so if you know the dates or years you can make correlations so let's go ahead epithelium what is important in this work is uh, it shows happiness sweetness rapture of love and that's why it is called uh, you know by colrich medinliness prothelium arcadian elegy this elegy is uh, following arcadian uh, structure and it is written on the death of sydney sir philip sydney yesterday's video we uh, covered philip sydney and his works so you can uh, remember these things like on the death of uh, sir walter raleigh he wrote uh, an autobiographical poem which was named collins cloud comes home again and on death of sydney he wrote he wrote prothelium in 1596 here ben johnson says writ no language this is uh, again a quotation related to edmund spencer so these are important the uh, fact about edmund spencer and if you are preparing for tgt pgt ugc net whatever level you are preparing uh, we should keep on studying our literature because the exam uh, pattern ask for this knowledge so keep on making your notes and uh, try to join everyday class at 7:30 pm because if there is sequence there is uh, you know routine we learn a lot whether it is 60 days 100 days we learn a lot with sequence and uh, schedule but if we break the schedule we don't learn things so hopefully you like the video if you like the video please do share do comment and like the video bye bye take care see you next week